All right, we'll start with opening comments from Coach and then open up questions. All right, thank you all for being here. Um, another week on the road. Uh, I think we learned some things last week and did some things better in the first half. Um, I don't, we weren't able to really maintain it in the second half. And that's something we really got to work on in practice, um, being able to finish a little better. I thought we started a little bit better, um, which was a positive. And we definitely got to build on that this week as we go on the road again, uh, play a team that their season hadn't started like they wanted. We're going, they're going to rally their troops. We'll get their best shot. Um, you know, these guys play in a league that's, you know, the North Dakota State. We got knocked out of the playoffs by South Dakota State. It's a really good league. They're a good football team. It's their first home game. And uh, so we got to be ready to go and uh, ready to play. And we got to continue to build on all some things I think we improved on Saturday, but nowhere where it needs to be yet. So we got to continue to build, continue to get better. Um, and that starts in practice first. And then that will carry over to the game. So another opportunity. I'm um, excited about that. And, uh, I'll open the floor for questions. Uh, what's some improvement? Where, what were they you felt like you guys improved? I just think we were focused. Um, our attention to detail um, was better. Um, you know, I thought we were playing with some energy early on. Obviously, the momentum, you know, when you block a punt, things like that early, it makes a big difference. Um, and, and, you know, we got out to a really good start. But for us, it's just that we've been preaching with this team just – Focus and attention to details, just about the little things, and and, uh, and and that's something we did a better job of early in the game, I think in all three phases. Um, I think as the game went on, we, we lost a little bit of that 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 focus that we need. Um, you know, we're going to have to be able to play four quarters, not two or three or whatever. We've got to be able to play four. So I thought that was the emphasis of the week. I thought that was better going into the game. John, I don't know that we're anywhere where we want to be in any three of the three phases right now, but I do think we made some improvement, especially early in the game Saturday. How valuable was it that you had another opportunity to get a lot of guys on your roster onto the field? Well, I think any time you do that, that's positive. I think with you know young kids and kids that haven't played as much, any time you can get them in a game and get game experience, that's always going to be positive. So, um, you know, that's always a good thing um, for those guys to go to go play. You know, I always say it's good for morale for a lot of our kids, you know, just to go play a college football game um, and see how they respond in that environment. And uh, so I think that's always a positive. This is the first time in program history where you guys are going to be on the road for three straight weeks. You've got two flights, a fairly long bus ride in between. Is there any um, sense that there may be some kind of travel fatigue or is you know, is that even something that uh, you're, you know, you think about? No, I don't. I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, you're on the road, but it's, I don't sense any of that right now. Um, you know, I think just the grind of practice and, and some things going on have created a little fatigue um, between the heat and the grind and, and just is what it is. You know what I mean? There ain't no way around it. Um, but, but as far as the travel piece of it, you know, I haven't noticed anything yet. We'll see how Saturday goes. Um, you know, for a young team, um, going on the road three weeks in a row, man, it's a chance to grow up. It's, it's, you know, it's unique to be on the road three weeks in a row. You know, I mean, that's, I don't know that we've really done that since we've been here. I haven't really thought through it, but, um, but, uh, but that's part of it. It's part of the growing up process. And, um, I think it's something we can take if we'll do it right and use it to our advantage moving forward. So, but specific travel fatigue haven't haven't noticed that. We're beat up. I mean, we're. I mean, it's a every week's a different group. We have yet to get a group out there that's the same. I mean, it's just. Uh, I guess it just is what it is early in the year. You know, right now, um, we've been this way a little bit in the past, but but it's week to week on, on who's available sometimes. Can you speak to how much challenge, if any, it adds to be the opposition for a team's home opener? Be the second one, obviously, Kent State in this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, we prepare the same way regardless. <coughs> you know, in my mind, we're going to go in, and, and, and Missouri State's going to play the best football game they've ever played, and, uh, and I believe that. And uh, they're going to have a great home crowd. It's opening. It's, you know, it's their first home game. I think they'll have a really good crowd. And uh, so I, I, we always prepare the same way um, regardless. Um, we don't look at any opponent any different than any other opponent. They're all the same. Um, so 
Um, we get ready to go play, assuming they're going to play their best game. And, and, and the emphasis really is about us taking care of, of ourselves. Number one, can we go be the best we can be at what we do? So, um, no, I mean, it's, uh, I haven't looked at it that way, to be honest with you, being their, you know, their, their first home game. It's just the way the thing is unfolded. And, I mean, you can, you can look at all that stuff. At the end of the day, you know, at, uh, at 2 o'clock Central, 3 o'clock Eastern, we got to go play a game. We gotta be ready to go, you know. Uh, regardless of what we have going on or anybody, uh, game time's not gonna change. Uh, as I tell our kids, nobody's gonna care how you feel and all that. You got a game to play, you know, and you gotta go. We all have a job to do. We got we gotta find a way to go get our job done. And uh, so um, that's kind of where we are right now. Big game by Joel Parker, um, kind of a breakthrough. Um, you know, what did you see through for? What did you see from him all through camp? And was this something that you kind of saw coming, that kind of a performance? Well, I mean, Joel, as I told you guys early on, is, is one of the freshmen we knew we were going to play. I think that's because of the way he practices. Um, he practices extremely hard for a young kid. Um, he does his job. Um, and, and, and the great thing about his production Saturday was he was doing his job. It wasn't like he was freelancing. And doing his, he was doing his job, I mean, he was playing hard, and you know what? It's amazing when you do your job and you're playing hard, that good things will happen. You know what I mean? I think sometimes guys get worried about, well, I need stats or I need to make a play. Just go do your job. It'll work itself out. It may not be every game, but you go do your job and good things happen, and that's what he did. Um, you know, he was under the weather. Matter of fact, he wasn't going to play, um, and he's not going to play this week. Um, he was under the weather. And, uh, you know, we didn't think he was going to play, and, um, and he came out and was able to play. Um, but, he, but he did a good job, you know. And, and, again, he was just – he was doing his job. He was playing hard. And, 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 and Joel's got a bright future here, without a doubt. I don't think that's hard to see. You didn't have Andrew Butcher or Dorian Walker, as it turned out, and you lost Kevin Glover in the game or, or took him out once he was banged up in the game. Can you update us on some of those guys and any other – Injuries of significance. Uh, Dorian should be back. Kyle Glover should be back. Um, Andrew Butcher's questionable. Joel Parker's out. Sam Outlaw's out. And Tavius Greer's questionable. There's probably some others. Next man up. We're talking about next man up. Tanner Jones, you know, <coughs> back, he seems to be another one of those guys that's gradually worked his way into some playing time. Is another one of these guys that's changed positions to help the team. Goes out and gets the big block punt to start the game. What has he meant to the program, and, and how have you seen him grow since he came here? Great attitude, great team guy. Comes in the building with a with a positive look on his face every day. Very seldom do you see him walk in with, you know, his chin down or. You know, he's always got a really upbeat personality. You know, the position changes. I've, I, you know, um, I asked him to go to corner because we didn't have depth there. He said, I'll do whatever I need to do for the team coach. And then we were, you know, we were concerned about some receiver stuff. I brought him back in. I actually felt, I, I felt really bad bringing him back in. I'm like, listen, this is your choice. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I said, if you want to go play wide out, there's, you know, we think there's an opportunity for you to go play there. And he goes, coach, I'll do whatever, you know. And he, he said, I'll go play wide out. And uh, I think that just speaks volumes about his character. And it's it's not about himself. He's not a me guy. He's a team guy. His answer is going to be whatever's best for the team. And when you get a group that's like that, man, you got a chance to do some fun things. You know, when they when they when they make it about the team and not about themselves, you got a chance to do some fun things when they do that. And so I think his attitude, the way he goes about his business, he plays hard, um, has given him a chance to to have an impact on some games and, and, and even a bigger impact on our team. You know, he's already known uh, for Plank. How, how much nicer is it, in your opinion, to know that he's now doing stuff on the field to he can kind of separate himself from that and be known for what he's uh, as a football player? Uh, honestly, I haven't thought about it, but I think it's just kind of who Tanner is. I mean, he's, you know, <clears throat> He just kind of goes about his business, you know. He's he, like I said, he's a he's a he's a uh, he's a glass half full guy, if that makes sense, you know. And so he uh, he's got a great attitude. He goes about his business, and it's a 
it's a testament if you have a great attitude and you work hard and you show up every day with that great attitude and you work hard, in this program, you end up contributing on the field. Promise you. If you have a great attitude and you come to work every day, and it may not be the position or whatever, but somehow you're going to impact this program. Because that's, that's, that's core values for us. You know, and I think he, he really represents what that's about. And, and he's done that. And next thing you know, he's got a chance to block a punt or make a play. You know I mean? Whatever it is, you don't ever know when your opportunity is going to come. But if you show up every day with a great attitude and work hard, you'll, you'll, you'll be ready for that opportunity when it shows up. I think he's just he's done that. And uh, it's a credit to him. What are your thoughts on Missouri State just as an opponent? I mean, obviously you mentioned in the open that they are a Valley opponent. They're pretty good at home in openers and things like that. They're probably pretty physical just based on the league they play in. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you look at that league and what they do, um, it's a really good league. It's a physical league. Uh, some of it's really old school football in certain aspects of that league. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, you know, they're a good football team. I think the, the, the thing hadn't started the way they wanted it, but they've, you know, they played an FBS opponent on the road um, as one of those games. So, um, you know, we're going to have to go play well, you know, to win the game especially when you go on the road and all the factors that they'll have, you know, as far as a home opener and uh, an enthusiastic fan base for the first home game. Um, so it's, it's going to be one of those games we got to be ready to play. And uh, for us right now, and they're all that way. I mean, you know, we, we, we got to be ready to go. Um, you know, they had some guys that didn't play that will be back that I think is going to help them as well, you know. So, um, you know, we got to get ready to go. When you look at the tape, um, looks like the quarterback's pretty good. Uh, wide, they've got a wide receiver that can make some plays, but they've kind of struggled against the run. What 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 are you seeing as far as that uh, is concerned? Is it line problems? Is it uh, misassignments? Or well, I think a lot of times when you look at anything, it's just you know uh, you know it's guys have an opportunity to do their job, and and when they get themselves in a position to make a play, they got to make a play, and I think. A lot of that, and I think a lot of theirs is they've had some negative plays on one side of the ball and then not be able to do some things on the other side of the ball. And if they clean those up, it's a complete <coughs> run. You might be talking about a different story. Um, and I think, a, you know, with a, with a lot of teams, I think they'll tell you, man, you got to control the controllables, you know, and uh, take care of the ball, make it smart decisions, and, uh, and then put yourself in position, you know, defensively, hey, you know, Correct fits, doing your job, and then guys got to make tackles. You got to get guys on the ground. You got to make plays, and uh, and I think that's that's probably with any team. But I think you know a lot of their things. Just like when you get beat, you know, you go back and look at the things you could have done, regardless of opponent. Just go, hey, what could we do better? And, uh, and a lot of times, if you clean those up, you give yourself a chance to win. Anything else? All right, thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.